Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Gamer Guy here. Um, now, also known as the uh, Sony Guy at my job. Um, basically, I'm doing this part two video of the PlayStation Vita unboxing. Um, I'm going to do some PSP comparisons in terms of size once again. Uh, for those who know me, for those who know my work, I usually have better production and better quality in my videos. But being I don't have that, I'm using my Blackberry. So, once again, that's just going to have to do for now. Um, Everybody that watched my first video, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, I plan to do some more videos uh, some down, sometime down the line. So uh, without further ado, let's do more of this unboxing. I'll show you some of the features. i try to show you some gameplay. Once again, I'm shooting this off my BlackBerry, so please excuse the quality. Um, Y'all know how I do. My production values are way better than this, but it's the best way I can get to my fans and new viewers and um, I want to appreciate everyone that's been watching my videos and watching the last video as well which was the PSP sorry the PS Vita unboxing so um, let's go on with this video um, basically here's my Vita go ahead and check it out now with this video I'm trying to just show you some of the features you can do with the Vita I had a ball last night at the lounge in the bar, I'm a little hungover, and I was showing off the features of the Vita, and everybody was going crazy, so, you know, I'm pretty sure you'll be excited too once you get yours in your hand. Oops, sorry. Okay, and here's the PSP. Now, once again, you already can see the difference in size. All right, that's the PSP, and here's the PlayStation Vita. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the Vita on, because uh, I'm going to want to drag this video out, but, um, if you like videos like this, um, or if you uh, you know enjoy my videos, just please comment, comment, uh, rate my videos, subscribe, and I want to hear more from you. I, I lost my channel, and I'm starting a new one, so I just want to rechristen my old channel with new content and um, new fans, new subscribers. So uh, please bring them in, bring them on. Um, so this is how the main screen will look like. Before you know, before you access the actual main screen, so you want to turn the page. So this is pretty cool. It's a page turning thing. I'm touching the page, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, now, being that the screen came up, I was doing remote play, which I'll show you in a few. So let me back out of remote play. Okay. So here's my menu. Here's the apps. Okay, I have some games in here. I'll show those in another video. Um, now, I don't have any Wi-Fi right now. By the way, this is the Wi-Fi version. I don't have any Wi-Fi currently at the moment. But I still can show you some of the features that the PlayStation Vita can do. So we're going to go on to, uh, let's see. Let's go to video. No, let's go to, yeah, let's do camera. So here's the menu. Content manager, music videos, remote play. Let's go to photos. You want to start that. So, here's the camera of the PlayStation Vita, which is very sharp. I'm going to record myself through the Vita, <laughs> just like that. Isn't that cool? Um, and we're also going to try, um, we're going to do front-facing camera option as well. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. I'm trying to do it. Okay, so there's the front-facing camera. So as you can see, it has rear and front-facing camera. So just imagine the possibilities you can do with that. Um, you know, obviously Skype or video chatting or, you know, whatever apps they make available for the Vita in the future. Um, Okay, so that's the front and rear facing and does videos and it does pictures. But the new update, you can do videos. And including with the update is uh, maps, which um, I, I think I can show you, but being that I have no Wi Fi, I don't think I can show you. So I'm sorry about that. Um, we're going to back out of the camera. Okay, you can have the option to take the music off of the Vita if you want, but I, I kind of like it. It, it. it makes it. You know, cool for me. I, I kind of like it, but you can always change that in the settings and the options. Um, now, the cool thing I want to show you is remote play. Remote play, I, I kind of dig because, uh, you know, I just I just think it's so cool. If you have actually have a PlayStation 3, uh, remote play basically allows you to have access to your PlayStation 3. Now, I do that currently on my PSP, and um, 
Let me turn my PSP on just in case anyway. Um, but I'll do that with my PSP anyway. So, um, to kill two birds with one stone, I'll show you how it's done on the PlayStation Vita. So, um, here's my PSP, pristine mint condition. Yeah, I'm, I'm crazy like that. I like to take care of my stuff. But anyway, that's the PSP. Now, back to the Vita. Uh, we're going to choose remote play. Now, first thing, here's my PlayStation 3. Yes, I have the old model. And, um, it's also in very good condition. And, um, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how the remote play works. So I'm going to choose remote play. Oh, <laughs> the, um, screensaver or the battery power thing, like, turned off before I got a chance to do so. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to choose remote play. I'm going to start remote play. Now, I already synced my PlayStation Vita to the PlayStation 3. And um, being that being I already did that, I can just go ahead and show you what happened. So I'm going to do connect uh, via private network because my PlayStation 3 is already hooked to the Internet. So I'm going to select that. Now, I'm going to show you what happens next. So it's please wait. It's connecting. Now look what happens. Here's the TV. TV is off. The PlayStation just turned on from my PlayStation Vita. So there it is. PlayStation turned on. Back to the Vita. Now watch what happens. You already know what the cross media bar looks like on the PlayStation 3. So here it is. Boom. Now look. I'm going to have access to my PS3 through the Vita, which is like so cool. Boom. Look at that. There's my PS3 menu, and I have an Apple menu, by the way, because I'm a Mac man. I love Apple. So thanks for the comments on the uh, themes. I'll tell you how to get themes, by the way, in a future video. Um, but yeah, this is my PS3 menu that would be on the screen, which it says Remote Play in Progress. So I can be away with a Wi-Fi connection or home if I don't want to access the PS3 through the television. And I can have access to all my music, videos. I can even go on the Internet still um, through the PlayStation 3 menu. I have access to the uh, PlayStation Network as well, um, which they're calling it now the Sony Computer Entertainment Network. Uh, you can read that article online somewhere. Just Google it. Um, can't have access to Netflix. However, I'm going to show you something really cool. All right, take this game out of here. I'm going to put in, just as a sample, as a demo, um, a, a PlayStation 1 game. This very, very bad game called NASCAR Thunder 2004. So this is just an example. And yes, for nostalgia parts of this video, this is the PS1 disc, the black on the bottom. I'm going to insert this disc. Now watch it show up in the game section. There it is. There's PlayStation format disc. Now, what we're going to do is see if the game would actually play your PS1 um, games on your Vita. Let's see if this actually works. So here's the PlayStation format disc, as you can see. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? You can play PS1 games on your PlayStation Vita through remote play from your PlayStation 3. That is fucking awesome. That is amazing. So just picture you on the go and you have Wi-Fi connection and um, you want to play a PS1 game. It also works with downloads as well. Look at that shit. So it'll be so cool. You can keep a if you have still original PS1 games, you can keep one in this in the system, play it while you want to go. Um, it's just really cool. It's a really cool feature. Uh, right now, maybe I didn't do any research, but there is a list on what the PS3 games are compatible to do remote play with. Um, I'm, one of them I'm being told was uh, Killzone 3, which I, I don't have the game. But um, once I find out that list. I'll be sure to collect those games in that list if the games are worth playing and do remote play like that as well. Drivers, start your engines. 
that was so bland. I'd rather hear Roaring Star. I'd rather hear that. The Sony USA is coming out, by the way, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, anyway, that was the remote play using a PS1 game. So I think that was really cool. Um, that's really cool to do. Um, I'll use a better game next time. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's uh, back out of this. Um, but yeah, as you see, you can do PlayStation 1 games. You can uh, listen to your music, view your media. Um, I have an external hard drive attached to my PS3. You can actually view whatever's on your external hard drive. But um, yeah, so here's the stuff you can do. Um, in the next video, I'll show you some of the games that you can do. There's Maps, which is in the new update. I have Hot Shots Golf in here. Mod Nation uh, Racers. Gravity Rush. As you see, the titles that everybody know about Uncharted, Virtual Tennis, FIFA, Wipeout, which I'm excited about. And um, that's about it. So in the next video, I'll probably do a part three or just a separate video. Just uh, chime in and let me know what would you like to see. Um, I'll definitely show you some of the games or some other features you can do with this. Um, like I said, I have the Wi-Fi version, so I, where I'm at is no Wi-Fi, unfortunately. But um. There's other cool things I can show you what this thing can do. But um, yeah, this is Ty, and I hope you enjoyed this video, this part two of the PlayStation Vita unboxing. And, um, you know, it wasn't much that I showed, but um, it, it was something. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Keep gaming.